Now, I'd like to pose a question kind of uh, along that same path, the next step in the journey, essentially, to Sonia. You've just graduated from um, UC Berkeley. You're about to take um, a a position as a a strategy um, consultant this fall at Accenture Strategy. Um, And you have, you know, many different things lined up for you, essentially, and you've gotten many different experiences. So I'm wondering, what has your journey been like? Um, and more than that, what kind of experiences, if any, do you feel like you should have gotten in high school or you did get in high school that ended up being very helpful to you? Uh, something that I hope that many members in the audience will, will kind of relate to the idea of, you know, what opportunities do I need? What experiences should I be getting right now? Um, hopefully, Sonia, you can give some insight into that or at least into yeah. your Yeah, absolutely. And I definitely echo everything Nikita is saying. Um, I'm really, really glad that she shared that because that's something I wish I had known earlier. Um, But nevertheless, as I look back on my journey through the ends of high school and college, I see that I did embody it to um, some some sense. Um, So I would say the nice thing about when you transition into college, and I'm hoping there are some upperclassmen high school students here um, that this will be a little bit more relevant to. But as you transition into college, a lot of uh, what feels like the barriers of getting into college are removed and you're no longer necessarily doing things for the application and for the college admissions councils to look at. And I really, really want to encourage making the most of that. Um, When I came into college, I had a very general idea that I wanted to be in healthcare, but did not want to go to med school. And that was pretty much all I knew. And even now, it's pretty much all I hold certain. Um, but what that allowed me to do was really explore through different career paths and different extracurriculars to understand what I was really interested in. Um, I can count off countless internships or clubs I was part of on college campuses, many of which I did not stick through with, to the end, but some of which have really defined my journey. And that's something I really want to encourage is go out there and explore. Um, and stay out of your comfort zone. You don't necessarily have to go for the traditional internships or the programs that everyone is talking about. Go and make your own opportunities. And this kind of ties into um, insight that I would definitely have for high school students. It's This is much, much more important as a high school student because many of those programs don't really exist. And the ones that do are very, very selective that not everyone um, can get into or has access to. So. I really encourage going and making uh, making your own opportunities. Um, that's a lot of what I did. A lot of what my resume is made up of and has been some of uh, the most beneficial experiences I've been part of. And so you're probably wondering, what does that mean? How do I just get up and do something? Um, this, I, I think that in, its, uh, in itself demonstrates a lot of the skills and characteristics like Kritik was mentioning um, to other people that are going to be looking at your application. You really have to get out there, cold email people in your network, start finding people on LinkedIn, just go around and look at things that interest you. Maybe find a research lab at a school that has interesting topics or you're reading a book and the author makes some good points. You happen to see some posts on LinkedIn whatever it might be, go out into the world and find those things and reach out to people, have coffee chats, um, tell them what you're interested in. And I would say start with a learning mindset. Think about, you know, what part of this really, really interested you in the beginning. Um, Start asking them questions from there. And a lot of times those conversations lead to having more people in your network and mentors. And these people will eventually open up doors for you that likely would not have existed otherwise. 